Hello friends, welcome back. From this video, I am going to start a new series that is going to help you how we can use the Microsoft Excel in performing statistical tools in the Six Sigma. Of course, Microsoft Excel is having some limitation at this point of time to perform all the statistical tools, but we can perform all the important tools into the Microsoft Excel. The main reason for starting this series is that I had seen many comments that people are not having the access to the Minitab or the advanced statistical softwares. And to remove this pain, I am going to start this important series. So let's begin to learn these important concepts. As a first video, to start with, I am going to explain you how we can make the enable the data analysis options into the Microsoft Excel. If you are already having the data analysis tab in active mode, that's good. But if it is not, please follow the procedure so that you can have the data analysis tab ready to perform all the statistical operations that we can perform using Microsoft Excel. Now to check whether the data analysis option is active in your Microsoft Excel or not, just go to the data tab and there you can see whether you can see the analyze option or not. If it is there, it's absolutely fine. But if it is not, let's follow the procedure. First, go to the file. Then go to the options tab. In that we need to select the option add-ins. In add-ins we can see there are multiple active application add-ins that we can see. Now we are interested in analysis tool pack, right? So click on this analysis tool pack. Go to the below and we can see there is option manage. Here we need to select as an Excel add-ins and then select go. Here we can see there are four options analysis tool pack. Analysis Tool Pack PBA, Euro Currency Tools, and Solver Adding. Check all of these options and then click OK. After performing this step, please go to the data and under data, you can see whether you got the sub tab named Analyze. This consists of data analysis and solver both, which is required to perform all the statistical tools that are possible in Microsoft Excel. If you can click on the data analysis, we can see what are the different statistical tools that we can perform into the Microsoft Excel. This includes ANOVA, which consists of the single factor, two factor with replication, two factor without replication. We can also perform the correlation, covariance, descriptive statistics, exponential smoothing, F test, two sample for variances, Fourier analysis, histogram, moving average random number generation, rank and percentile, regression, sampling, and there are many hypothesis tests that we can perform by using this data analysis tab. This is a first video about the setup. Let's understand each of these tools, how we can perform using the Microsoft Excel from the next video. If you want to prioritize the sequence based on your application, please mention into the comment box what is the tool that you want to see into the next video. At the end of this video, if you found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to learn Lean Six Sigma and Minitab most effectively and practically, then please visit at vijayasabe.co slash join or successfulcareerhub.com slash courses. One more important thing, if you want to support me or appreciate my efforts, you can also join my YouTube channel by clicking the join button at my YouTube channel. By joining this YouTube channel, you are not only supporting me, but also getting an access to the perks that can help you in your career goal. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.